Alright, so we are here again, Mr. Brown again. So we are adding in the base 2 system. So, key factor in base 2 is that only digits that exist are 0 and 1. So all other numbers don't exist when we are dealing with base 2 system. Everything is just 1 and zeros. And if you are good at computer science, you will eventually learn out that you are dealing with binary. This system is called a binary number system, so it only has ones and zeros. So, adding now. Still, procedure like primary school. So you write your number, one, one, zero, one. And you remember to put your little twos or your fives, depending on which system you are in. Only time you don't really put it is when you are dealing with base 10. So, adding now. Zero plus one, that's one. 1 plus 1, that's 2. However, as I said before, we don't have 2's in binary system. So what you do, you put your 2 there. And then you'd ask yourself, how many groups of 2's can you get from it? So basically, you can just simply subtract that with your 2. And your answer would be 0. So because you only can get 1, 0, 1, 2 from it, and no remainder, you put your 0 here. And you only got 1, so you bring a 1. 0 plus 1 plus 1, that's a 2 again. So you do the same thing. So you put 0 and you bring 1. Same thing, 1 and 1 is 2, so you put a 0 and you carry 1. But because there is nothing to be added, you just simply put your 1 here. So when you add this number in binary, the answer is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And you have to put your 2 here because it's a binary system. It's a base 2. Because if you don't have it, and someone sees this addition, they are going to say you are crazy because they don't know it's base 2. So you should ensure you put your base at all times. And that's it for today.